good everyone my name is graphics now we want to reproduce that figure at the top right corner of the screen in autographic projection and we are going to be projecting it in third angle projection like i said earlier when you are given a question in autographic projection the first thing you have to do is for you to draw your word your four cardinal points like this pick your t square and uh, you draw the vertical line this way, right? And you move this and you draw the horizontal line this way. You can see that? Now they are meeting at this point. So from that point, like I said earlier, you use your compass, you measure 10 or 5 any values of your choice but i preferably choose 10 like this and you place it at this point of intersection you bisect up you bisect left down and what and also right now when you've done that the next thing you do you need to draw your line passing through those points that you marked this And this and this and this now this is what we have now doing this we are going to make this point our point of reference that is where we start marking our line right we start making our measurement so i'm going to clean off this i don't want to have anything to do with what the x and y axis and this is what i mean so we've done that so all these are our point zero point zero point zero point zero since we are drawing in third angle projection we are going to be drawing our diagram in the third quadrant right either we choose the third quadrant or the fourth quadrant so i'll be choosing the third quadrant so this is the first this is the second and this is the third so i'll draw my elevation in the third quadrant now let me give you a clear view of the picture at the top right corner now this is the figure that we have here right we're told to draw from looking at the arrow t so it means that everything you see from this side is our elevation like I said, the principle that I usually use is that I'll look for the entire length and the entire height. I say that the elevation, the front elevation has two things, the length and the height, right? So with this, the entire length here is given to be 37. You can see that? And the entire height is given to be 38. So I'm having, so I'll draw a box like this. Then the length here is 37. And the height here is what 38 so this is what i'm going to draw in my third quadrant so this is what i'll do now i will draw it here this is my reference point zero right so i said the length is what the length is 37 right so i'm going to draw the length 37 on my meter rule i'll draw the length to be 37 so if you start from zero here t zero and this is 37 here right so i will just place it there and i will take my c square and i'm going to project that line downward this line i'll project downward right and we say the height is given to be 38 so i'm going to measure 38 so from here this is 38 here I see that and I'm going to close it up now it is from this shape that I'm going to carve out my my elevation so let's see what we have so, now if you look at it very well we have this thickness here this thickness you see is given to be what eight 
so from this point right i'm going to measure it so this point is this point here so it means i'm going to measure it away from that line so take it and you measure it so if i'm going from zero if i'm going from zero here so this will be my eight here so i'll use my let me give you a clearer view of what i'm doing I'll use my set square and I'll just draw a line from that point. It faint lines first of all, because I'm not sure the essence of that line. Right? So this is what we have. Now the next thing is to draw. Um we've already measured here, we say it is eight. Now the next thing to the next point here is giving us what 19 right so I'm going to measure 19 from this point which is this point I'm going to measure 19 from that point again so let's do that and see so I'll give you a clearer view make it bigger a little bit and I measure 19 from this point so let's see this is my zero here And this is 19 here. I'm going to project it. You can see that. So, the next thing we'll do is this the thickness of this is given to be 11. So, I'm going to measure from this point of measure 11 upwards. So, this point is this point so I measure 11 upward so with the help of my meter rule I measure 11 upward this way so I will just use my compass let me give you a clearer view and I am going to just draw a line faint line this way first All right now the next thing we do is measure from that 11 there's another line 8 upward so I measure 8 from that 11 which is here so from this line this line you are seeing is the line of 11 right so I'm going to measure it upward don't forget I'm looking from this side so I'm taking the measurement since lines are parallel from here to here it's parallel from here to here parallel from here to here parallel from here to here right and this is in the same length as this so i'm measuring it from that line of it upward again so i'll be having this so from this line here i said i'm going to measure it upward so I measure the it upward from here this is the it here so i'll just draw a line at this point now the way it is i've drawn all what i need here so i need to start thickening the line now the first line i'm going to take in here is this from this point straight down i told you when you're looking a curve perpendicular that curve become a straight line so all this curve you are seeing here it does act like a straight line right so I'm going to take it from here to the end. So the end from the beginning to the end of that seven, I'm going to take in it like this. So I'm going to take in from here to the ending. So that is the first thing we'll do. Now the next thing we'll do again is this. Similarly, I'll take it from this point straight up here also. I told you any curve you see looking at it perpendicularly, that could be a straight line. So from here upward will also be a thick line. So this point to this point is this point to this point. Right? So I'm going to take in that point this way. With the help of my metal rule.
So that is one. Now, if you look at here also, this point is taken to this point. So this point to this point is this point to this point. So no matter what you're doing, it is a straight line, right? So I'm going to close it up. So let me close it up. So I will close it up. Now, the next thing we'll be doing is this. From here to this point is ticking. So from here to here is from here to here. So I'm going to what? Ticking it. So I'm ticking from here to here. Have you seen that? Now, from here to here is from here to here. So I'm going to thicken it. So I'll thicken it. You can see that? Now the next thing I'm going to do is this. From here to here, I'll take in it. So here to here is from here to here. So I'll take in this place here. So let me do that. So you can see that. Now the next thing is from here to here. I'm going to take in it also. So I'll just take in that part. On this point straight down right so from this point to this point is from this point to this point so i see you see a curve perpendicularly when you're looking at it as a straight line so from here to the end of this point the straight line don't see the curve as a curve when you're looking at it perpendicularly from this direction you see it as what as a straight line just like you're looking at the table water from far you just think it's a straight it means from a straight line so i'll just I've taken this, so I will not close it up here. So from here to here is from here to here. So I'll take it and I'll close it up. Now, if you look at it closely, right? Um, now looking at it here, this line here inside. You cannot see it from here, so you use a hidden line to show this to this line here, right? So from here to here is from here to here to be blocked, but from here downward will be hidden line. This is what I mean here. So I'm going to draw my hidden line at this point because I cannot. See, there's some. There's a true there, so here will be hidden line, right? And here also will be hidden line because it's a continued line. I see that so which is this two hidden line this point here is this point here so i hid it, i draw the hidden line down right and the other hidden line i take in from here to here which is from here to here then the remaining one i drew a hidden line so we have uh, successfully drawn out the elevation right so the next one we want to draw is the plan and the plan is always on top of the elevation right in third angle production the plan is always what on top of the elevation so this is where i'm going to draw my plan so what i'm going to do here is this i am going to project these lines i'll project them up this way but first of all before i project them up I need to know the length and the width of the plan. Now, remember something in the elevation, front elevation, it is the length and the height, but in the plan, it is the length and the width. So, this is what I mean here. Now, if you look at it very well, we're looking at it now from the top this way, right? We're not looking at it from here, from the top. We're looking from the top, you're going to see A, you see B, 
you see C, you see D, and in here, right? So, but what is the total length? The total length we already have it before, which is 37. Because we said the plan has length and width. Then what is the width? The width is what? 36. So the total width here is what? 36. So it's the width I am going to measure here. So this point, I'll measure my width, right? So I'll start the measurement from here and I'll measure 36. So measure 36 from here to zero here. From my reference point here, zero. Up is what? This is 30. 35 36 you can see that that is 36 now i'm going to use my t square and i'll close up here this way and i'm going to project all those points up those points is going to guide me so i'll put it this way And also this way. You can see that. Now, in doing that, let me just zoom it up a little bit. I put the tendon up, right? So the next thing we want to draw is this. Now, if you look at from the top, this A, A is aligned with this side. This side here, right, is this side right and we said that a is aligned so a is the, on the plan is aligned with this part here right so i'm going to a is aligned to it and where is the a this is the a here now this is the a so it is aligned to what to this part i showed you so what is happening we are thickening it so you see a curve like a straight line so i'm going to thicken that part of a so this is what i'll be having so i'll thicken from this point So at this point also from here also I'll take in it to this point too you can see that and the, the good news is I'm going to take in all the four corners not really so I'm going to just move so if I have taken here this way, the next thing is this. I'll get the center of this shape here. So half of 36 is 18. So I'm going to measure 18 to get the center of that shape there. So this is 36 here. So I'll measure 18. So this is 10 and 18 is here. So that 18, I'll use it to draw my center line. So I'll have this and this, this and this, this. So that's my center line here. Now, there's a curve here, which is this curve, which is this curve here, right? And the curve is starting from this point to the next point. So this point here, which, which the curve is starting, is this point, right? So, and this is the length of the curve. So if I trace this point to here, that means my curve is starting from here. So I'll take my compass. I'm going to place it at the center of this point here, where I'm going to draw my curve. Right? So that's where I'm going to draw what? My curve. Hope you can see that. This way. You can see that now I'm not going to thicken it to touch this point here and this one too to touch this point here you can see that now the next thing is this after we've drawn this curve which is this curve here now there's another curve again the curve aim is given to be what radius 9 so I'll measure now my meter rule then I'll draw so this is how I measure the 9 so I'll pick my meter rule and I'm going to measure 9 
0.0 to this is 9 right then i place it at the center that i place the other one then i'm going to draw another circle this way see that now the next thing is it is connected from this point to this point is connected from this point to this point is connected just like this so you see the circle here so from here just like this it's connected and it's connected right so i'm going to take in it with the help of my meter rule i will just take in From this point to this point, and from this point to this point, you can see that. Now, what do you notice? This is connected straight because there's a thickness here, right? So this is closed also. So I'm going to close it up because it is closed. Why does it that? Look at the diagram. Now you see that it is closed, like I was showing you earlier. So from here to the back to touch the distance of it, the distance of this eight. So this now we're gonna touch it and this now we're gonna touch it. So this distance of eight from here to here is like from here to here. So this is the distance of eight here. This is the eight that we measured earlier. So I'll just draw this to touch this this way. So this is my metal rule. Now close it up this way. Now I'll come here also. I use my metal rule and I'll close the up this way. You can see that now. Um, if you look at the diagram very well, I said this is point C B A. So this is point C B A. You can see, and this is D from the diagram. So we we'll successfully we've drawn out the plan right now the next thing we'll do is to draw the end view now before we draw the end view we have to project draw a line of 45 degree from this meeting point here in the last in the previous video i showed you how to use the the 45 degree set square but you can easily use your rule and connect from this point to this point you can see to give us our 45 this way that's our 45 degree you can see that so the next thing i'll do is that i am going to project from here i'll just project it all straight right so all this point i'll use it to touch this inclined line here so the first one is this i'll draw it to trust this inclined line then the next one is this i'll draw it to touch the inclined line then the next one is this. I'll draw it to touch the inclined line. And I'm going to project everything downward. This way. I'll project everything downward this way. Everything downward this way. You can see that? And I also project all this to this point too. Let me zoom it up a little bit. So I'm going to project all this to this point also. To touch the final line. Here too, to touch the final line. Now, what I will do is the end view. The end view is situated at this point. So let's see. Now the end view is looking at from this side here. Right? Either from this side or from this side. So we're looking at it from here. What will you see? You're going to see this thickness so this thickness right is already here so let's see so this is the thickness here with the help of this i will just project my line i told you i'm looking at the curve perpendicularly to give you a straight line so i'll just project this and i'm going to stop here right and i'm going to project this also like the thickness and i'm going to stop here right so 
if you look at this you measure it it is also nine right so i'm using this one thing is if you draw this successfully well this will generate the rest of them so this is the thickness nine now the next thing is from here to here is thickened right so what are we going to do this is what we are going to do here at this point here you call it a fillet and the end of the fillet is what or just six both at these two end so this end here and this end is this end and this end so i'll take my meter rule and i'll measure the radius which is six this way right and i'll place it at this point here i'll bisect from here to here and from here to here you can see that placing it here i'll strike an arc placing it here also i'll strike another arc you can see that i'll come here from here they meet i'll place my compass at that point then i'm going to draw my fillet first of all gauge it this is what we have here you can see that that is what we have there i'll come here also i'm going to do the same thing we know from it here is uh, the six here so i'll place it here i'll strike here i'll come and strike here also so with the same radius i'll place it here i will strike an arc sorry i'll strike an arc here i'll place it here i'm going to strike another arc here so where they meet i'll place my compass there and i'm going to draw the curve this way this point so i'm going to draw the curve that way so i'll draw that out so the next thing i'll do is to connect them so in connecting them i'll connect from here to here with a straight line then i'm going to connect here straight down to this point right connect it straight down with this point then i'll come here also connect here to straight down to this point You can see that now I've gotten this part which is which is this part here we brought it out now what we are going to see you see these two thickness so from here to here and here to here is from here to here and here to here so it's already there I will just stick in it right so that's the beauty of tapering it this way once you can get the elevation correctly, the rest will start coming out on their own. So close your up. Now close your up. And this is what we have. Right? Now um there's a circle here so that is what we have now there's a circle here and that circle in is this circle that is coming here so we are going to show it using the hidden line to show that what there's a true in so i'll just take my um rule i'll just draw my hidden line here to show that what there's another curve inside and here also to show that what is another curve inside. You see that? So the curve is just a center line. It just let me come of this to this point. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So this point here. I'll just draw my center line here. So that what? There's a curve at that point there. So this is what we have here. This is our 
um, third angle orthographic projection you have successfully brought out the shape that we need so the next thing you have to do you need to do your dimensioning so just watch what you have and you do dimensioning here so you know how to do this this is the radius of six and so on and so forth so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching